Happy Anniversary Disney Cruise Line. And we are going to celebrate with Disney Silver Anniversary, that would be 25 years of sea on where it all started, the magic. So come along with us. And actually, it's been almost seven years since we've been on the magic. So this is one of uh, kind of a cool ship for us because we did a back to back on this one, first time ever. So come along with us and let's go have and some I did fun. just want to point out here that Disney does go out of Terminal C here at the Port of Miami, which is right. So here at Port, you got to go up to get on the ship. And that's where we're headed right now. Boarding sea. All right, here we go. Number 22, Disney Magic. All right, are we excited? So excited. Disney Magic. It's been a long time, Disney long Magic. Long time. Now, this is the Aqua Dunk versus Aqua Duck or Aqua Mouse. Been a long, I don't even think you remember. You remember the Aqua Dunk, right? Yeah. Kings remembers Aqua Duck. I don't think Breezy does. I don't think, I think she was too small to get. I will say we love about these older ships, unlike the Wish, is the intro is awesome. So they get, hopefully, they'll have all the crew or some of the crew out there and they'll get to uh, clap as you're coming in. Awesome. Awesome. No matter how many times you cruise, it's awesome. Hey, it never gets old, never gets old. All right. So different after coming off the wish and the fantasy. Of course, you see there in the middle, Nikki started it all. How cool. How cool. We got Mickey up there. Let's take a little look at Mickey's statue. And here's Lumiere. Lumiere's. We're going to have there twice. So. We'll try to show you a little bit of what that is after Beauty and the Beast. The little special drop for number 25. So we definitely have to get that. So yeah, you can see it pretty well. 25 is around the windows. So what's cool about this particular show, now we, last time we did go on the Magic, we did get to see Rapunzel's show, but we've never eaten in Rapunzel's table. So that'll be kind of cool. And they just reimagined some of this area we're coming in too after Seoul. And they got a little Kanto thing happening. So it's gonna be a cool cruise. We'll come back here a little bit later, but this is all reimagined recently. How cool is that? Awesome. That's a cool see touch. Joe's, Joe Gardner's. Joe Gardner's coat and hat. The Soul Cat. All right, so I think we're headed back here to Rapunzel's table to have a little bite to eat on our first meal aboard <laughs> the Disney Magic. And there's where we're headed, Rapunzel's Royal Table. So we'll have to be sure to get all this stuff in here right now, just kind of a glimpse as we head into our first lunch here on board. Here's our embarkation menu. Pretty much what we get, what's standard. Favorites on there for us. So we all have usually our favorites. Uh, one of them is definitely the beef empanadas, of which all beef empanadas are graded against is Disney beef empanada. So we'll see how these work. Okay, so what about the bracelets now? So, yeah, so we're here, we're on board. Embarkation is smooth, but something was different this time. When we checked in, they gave us these bracelets and they were checking at certain points in the port to make sure that we had our bracelets. I don't know, it makes you wonder. But last time it was like QR code every little bit. Yeah. This time we only had to do that twice. So maybe the bracelets are replacing that. I don't know, it was a change. And here's our bread service. You might be asking, well, why are you at Rapunzel's table, royal table? Well, as we've said before, there are two places that you can eat at when on the day of embarkation. One is at Cabana's, uh, which we do sometimes, but most of the time we like to just sit because we love sort of our standard go-to sit-down meals. And the other is one of the restaurants. It's been various places, uh, depending on what ship you're on. So that's why we're here at Rapunzel's table for our first meal. And I hope we'll be able to appreciate a little bit more when we actually eat here. But 
just what cool decor, the lanterns, some of the cool paintings we'll have to get a hold of, show you. Just pretty. So this is the first time we've ever, first time ever have been in this place. This was not reimagined the last time we were on the Magic. So this is exciting for us. We all got them just so one empanadas. So these are pretty flaky ones. Yeah. I'm liking that. All right. You enjoy the empanadas? Yes. They were, they were the so good. the best ever empanadas yes. we've had on Disney Cruise? They were pretty flaky, weren't so they? So good, good, yes. Did Crunchy. you get another one? Yes. Well, you can ask. All right, surprise. Different ship, same story. Mac and cheese. I think we're going to tally. How many mac and cheeses does he get look, the whole five-night cruise? It's mac and cheese, but look at Pascal. Oh, cool. That's pretty cute. All right, that saves you right there. All right, my dearest, I know you and Bree's got the same thing, so. Yes, the panette pasta is always our go-to. Looking good. Even give us some um, Parmesan. I thought it had some too. garlic bread, or no? I'm going to think of the dinner version. Okay, all right. That's the dinner version. All right. And then I got my go-to as well, the chicken Caesar salad. It's just so light, so good. Can't go wrong with it. There it is right there. All right. All right, I know you had to like that penna pasta because you had mama's too. Was it good? Yeah, it was so good. I'm not even going to ask would you get it again because I know you would. Yes, I would. All right, and mac and cheese, thumbs up. All right. And the chicken Caesar salad was awesome, as usual. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's good. Hard to go wrong. Yeah. It's served. Great lunch at Rapunzel's Royal Table. We're gonna go take a look at the kids' clubs. Come join us. A little bit of view of deck four, three and four. We're on four, actually. As we head up to the kids' club on deck five, and there's club, and then port side aft is where you get the Oceaneers club entrance into. So and then the hallway was in between there as you travel midship. Got to show you the cool check-in wash, so. Well. You got to put both your hands in. Both our hands in. Yeah, you have an Apple Watch on. Oh. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Washing hands and Apple Watch. Yes. All right, so we're in the Oceaneers lab here. All right, so animator studio. Cool. All right, and to the next room, the craft studio. This room is crash the ship room. Crash the ship? <laughs> steer the ship? Where you can steer it and crash it. And cool main room here is Little Mermaid, the new one. Now we think this is where they do a lot of the projects. And it's been a while since we've been on this ship, so. And this one right here, he's way past the kids club now. But yeah, I think this is, they do the projects and... Slime and slime, cooking. Slime, cookies. Yeah. Right in here. Now we're gonna go through the magic hall. Now one thing when you drop your kids off the kids club, you do not have to worry about safety because if they wanna go into right now the Oceaneers lab and wanna cross over into the Oceaneers club, all safety. Don't have to step a foot outside the real ship or in the real people area. It's all in the kids club area. Well, you get one. Secured I mean. hallway. That's what my. That's always a striking white right right description here. But this is the secured hallway. So right. let me show you kind of what I mean here. So here's the outer portion here of the ship. So this is all secure for the kids. So you don't have to worry about them getting lost. And into the kid or the uh, Oceaneers Club we go. And in kind of a crafts room, I guess. Watch some movies. And the magic has. Cool marvel. All right, so we got Thor's hammer here. And Iron Man. 
the Mark VI prototype. Because I am Iron Man. My favorite. Captain America's training shield. And another main room. So as you notice on our Disney Fantasy, The Wish, or sorry, Disney Fantasy and the Dream, they have that sort of magical floorway that they don't have here. Pixie Hollows over that way. Andy Room, we'll go back there in just a sec, but they, you know, just little differences in the individual ships. And we were just in Marvel Superhero Academy. A cute little Donald and Daisy for the bathrooms. All right, Pixie Hollow. Another cool drawing place. And on into Andy Room. So you notice also the Kids Club has its own separate entrance. But here's Andy's room. Now we're gonna have to show you the cool space up here because it's kind of like his real bedroom. All right, so hopefully I'm not gonna knock myself out here. So as you come up here, you know, you go down the slide, but it's like it's Andy's bed. How cool is that? And as you see, the slide is slinky dog slide, so. And some more cool Andy room kind of stuff. So you can see the Oceaneers Club is actually on the fifth floor more aft than uh, the Oceaners Lab, which is actually midship and kind of in between where normally the stairs are. That's where it is. Let's go explore Vibe. This is Vibe is Teens. And some cool retro uh, games. All right, how cool. Love it. A little smaller space than a lot of the other ships. So some games, places to sit. Cool, big screen. So definitely smaller than the other ships, but nevertheless, have their own little bar smoothie area. How cool is that? And TV there. All right, let's head into Edge. Now this is the Tweens car. It's pretty cool. So some more games back there. Edge is uh, midship deck nine. So actually just almost kind of below five. And that makes it official. Silver, silver anniversary at sea, 25 years. So this is the main stage. We'll show you a little bit of the sail away. Ice cream. Had ice cream. First ice creams of the cruise. How fancy are we? we got 25 years, 25 on the uh, ice cream tags. Before we end the uh, room tour here, and I am going to put a little bit of the room tour in the embarkation day as well as a separate video, but I just wanted to point out that this is actually considered an inside stateroom, but obviously you see not. So it's a special room 
with a port. Hole. Here is that you're paying for an inside stateroom, but oh, with a view. So get more for your money. So again, I will put out a separate video if you just want to watch the uh, room tour of uh, room 6006. An inside stateroom, but not. All right, my dearest, tell us a little bit about the special gifts we got for this anniversary sale. Yeah, so waiting on us when we got into our stateroom are some pretty awesome um, silver anniversary at sea gifts um, because we are castaway club members. So everybody, my understanding is everybody gets the bag as long as you're silver or higher. And then there's different colored lanyards depending on what level um, uh, of a castaway club member that you are. We happen to all be platinum, so we have the silver blue color. I think there's a silver, a gold, yellow, yellow looking color, and then this color, and then pearl gets a white. Um, and then we also got a beach towel. So we'll have to open that up and maybe show that once that's open. Now I did read that gold gets um, a wet dry bag and then uh, pearl gets I think they're champagne flutes um, and silver this would be you'd get the lanyard in the in the tote bag as a silver and then also pretty cool are the amazing colorful new key to the world so that's such a pretty color I think they did a really great job with the color scheme for this anniversary. Can you see that? And so I just unfolded the beach towel. Look at this amazing thing. It's like the size of a blanket. It is towel material. But look at Captain Mickey. It's like the size of the bed. And it's got the Castaway Club on it. Cool. That's pretty cool. All right, and you and I had the privilege of trying the Cloudum Blue when we were on the Wish. And I found out that this was orderable through like the pre, the gifts you can order ahead of time on board. So the kids are going to get to try it now. We need to get it chilled. And it came with a box of, um, I'm not sure if they're chocolates or truffles, but some kind of tasty little treat. And they delivered some glasses um, with this as well. So because we pre-ordered this, this was waiting for us in our stateroom when we got here. Pretty cool. All right, are we excited for the sail away party? Yes. All right, this is a cool sail away party. They kind of come right on down the road there. Good to see everybody. So for the past 25 years, Disney Cruise Line has traveled all across the seas, bringing people together from all over the world. As we get ready to set sail on the vacation of your dreams, let's take a look back on the journey and the magic that has brought us all here together today.
gonna say, that was a doggone good tailway party. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I was not that impressed at uh, the Wonder. Uh, but that's different, clearly. That's the 25th uh, flair to it. That was doggone good. Way to go, Disney. Way to, way to mix it up there. That was very right, good. So we're gonna head down and do some character pictures, hopefully, if Donald's in his 25th outfit. And gonna take a look at, uh, I guess, the magic show. The magic show. Magician on board. So we're gonna... There he is. All right, I feel like this is Disney Cruise equivalent to Millennium Falcon. This is whack. Um, probably just see the behind items as they get flying off of the. There's literally like one shelf here. And here's some of the 25th merch. We're in line 30 minutes before the store opens because we're very hot tomorrow and stuff. It's so my thing, what we're about ready to experience, why we need to go to Magic Sco, because we're going to see this disappear in two seconds. This is going to be a quick magic show. Poof. The rope dropping, like, oh no, seven dwarfs, you know, the mad dash. But I, I get to ride seven dwarfs even if I'm at the end That's right. Well, we're riding the ship. We're riding the ship. All right, well, Mama grabs. Thank you. So this is all the 25th. This is cute here. We have more backpacks behind the counter in case anybody needs them. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that is a nice shirt. And just like that, it's done. Remember how this was full? Not sure we can show any of this, but this is magician Eric Jones. As though we just saw our own magic act in the uh, shop with all the 25th merch. But. All right, Keegs, we've got some room service. Well, one, we got those Mickey bars. We see that. What else we get? Uh, so Braille got a Greek salad. Greek salad. All right. And, and I got pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Two pepperoni pizzas. Pepperoni pizzas. All right. Because they're kind of small. Just so you guys have right. plenty to eat while we are gone. All right. Bon appetit. All right, my dearest. Where are we headed for the first time? It's the first time we've ever done this. We are going for first night dinner at Palo. Just dinner, us. not brunch. Well, we are going to do brunch, but not this we time. We are doing brunch in a couple of days, so right. we're excited. Let's go do it. Let's do it. So here we are, Palo. Been, what did we say, seven years? Seven years? So been here. We are coming back for brunch, though. Sunset out there, but it is very pretty. There's another ship out there. Mom said, I don't think you can see it because it's a little glare. We get the plate. I always forget to get it before they take it away. It's a gorgeous plate. I can see that. All right, let me try to get the menu here real quick. So, the way it works is you can get an all one, which gives you courses, or you can get an all a, a, la, a la carte. And here are some of that menu. So again, this is all new for us because we've never eaten here before for dinner. All right, let me just give you some of this ambiance here. This is very beautiful. No one is really sitting in these places. Gorgeous. See the cooks back there. All right, Mama, lots of choices. Oh my goodness. So. I knew that they had that price fixed menu and then the a la carte, but I didn't know there was going to be so many different choices to make. But our server so far has been fantastic. Gave us lots of good recommendations. 
Um, it took a little while to get our order put in and did not know that you had to order the chocolate souffle like as soon as you got Fancy. it. So it would be ready for you. So had to put that in. I got two dishes that we'll just say I love cheese. So we'll have to see how it goes. All right. What did he bring out for us? So he brought us out an amuse bouche. And it's a gnocchi on a bed of, I think he said mushroom. I'm not sure what else was on here. And there's some Parmesan on here. Good. Mushroom, I'm just going to say soup. That mushroom was awesome. That was fantastic. Um, I love the gnocchi. That was good touch there. All right, what did you get, my dears? So I'm going to probably say it wrong. It's the agnolotti. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. It's got the butternut squash in it. Like a ravioli, but it's similar, he said, to a ravioli. And then, and then we've got... Parmesan. And just our server just drizzled some and I'm aged you, balsamic. Had, you had smell of vision. Oh, that balsamic does smell, smell so amazing. Good. All right. And he brought some bread. Good bread, but be careful, mother. I know. I can't touch the crostinis. A tomato with prosciutto because I love cheese. And let's see if we can see that. And you can see that he kind of swirled around some of that awesome balsamic, and oh my gosh, it tastes heavenly. Yeah. All right, babe, lots of food. Take us around the oh morning. Oh my gosh, I have so much food here. You got tons of food. So I got a six ounce steak to start with. And then he came and poured a, a sauce. I know this is a truffle. A red wine sauce. Red wine sauce, is that what it was? Yeah. And then I ordered spinach, which I love, and then this is like a macaroni and cheese. All right, and then my tradition of my cheese loving, I got prosciutto um, pizza. And is that not looking good, or is that looking good? All right, I'm going to just say tapped out. That was awesome. Pizza was fabulous. Um, wow. Another chalk it up to wonderful food here at Apollo. All right, Mama, what do you have? This huge chocolate thing coming. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for the souffle. But the steak was really good. It was cooked exactly how I asked for, which was medium. I think we shared before we've learned don't ask for yeah. medium well. Medium steaks on Disney. <clears throat> the spinach might be my favorite though of everything. <laughs> I just love I love cooked spinach, and then this mac and cheese. Not bad. Was very, yeah. very cheesy and delicious. So, winner. Awesome. <laughs> very, very healthy. We do. We cut in the sand. Please make sure you reach the end. We have vanilla and the chocolate sauce. Very slow together. Don't miss the target. <laughs> <laughs> and you have uh, on the side the gelato, homemade vanilla gelato, for very important reason. Your safety emergency. You give your gelato. Eh? Grazie mille, enjoy. Thank that is you. your classic apple crostata. That we is uh, no, no sugar add. And the caramel sauce, that is sugar free. It's really tasty. Awesome. Oh, Thank looks you. Good. It's pretty too. That's looking very good. I love a pretty dessert. All right, my dearest. Was that good? It lives up to the height, definitely. You almost cleaned it out. I know. I should have stopped like five bites ago. And, um, this apple pie with no sugar was fantastic. I mean, you know, he's right. If you apple pie or apples themselves are, are very sweet, so you don't need to throw a lot of whole sugar in there. It was just the right kind of sweet, real tartish kind of to it. It was really, really very good. So definitely, if you don't want to eat a lot of sugar, hey, definitely the apple pie, sugar, no sugar added dessert option here at Paula. All right, so end of our first day. What a really fun day. Great uh, sail away party. Yes, love the sail away party. So I love that that was different than the, the dream, the fantasy, and the wish. That was very, very cool. And um, also um, the magician, Eric Jones. Oh yeah, 
the show Holy was great. Cow. We're trying to be quiet because the kids are asleep on the other side of the wow. of the curtain here, but the entertainment was pretty awesome. Unbelievable. He was fantastic. So didn't have a Broadway show tonight, so had a uh, performer. So that was cool. See day tomorrow, but you know, what came in without Apollo, first time ever. Oh, Dinner. we've been missing out. Yeah. We have been missing out. Yeah, that was excellent. I mean, we love our brunch, don't get it wrong, but that was wonderful. Wonderful dinner. So I think we'll probably be doing that again on the other ships. <laughs> so uh, anyway, wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification day, notification bell. See day tomorrow. Woohoo! Our favorite. And what do we always say, Mom? Onward to our next adventure. Bye. Bye.